while you're riding Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you always we are talking 2018 and everything in between. Look at that rhyme right there. We can't <laughs> recap this year without talking about BTS. On I know now. one of your favorites, Teddy. Another big year for my favorite boy band. <laughs> uh, it was such a major year for the group, and today we're revisiting some of their biggest moments of 2018, starting with that video you guys just saw. Mm -hmm. They crushed the In My Feelings dance challenge, but that wasn't the only dance challenge that they tackled this year. Who can forget when Jimmy Fallon mm -hmm. uh, got them to do the Fortnite challenge on The Tonight Show? Which I will say, is a very tough dance to uh, try to master. I know, and like seemingly <laughs> they saw this for the very first time, but check this out, you guys. Here we go. That's mm -hmm. Jin right there, just crushing it. Uh, uh, you know, Fortnite, of course, was one of the bi biggest video games of, of 2018. Yeah, one of the biggest music groups of the year just nailing that routine. I'm still trying to learn that one, all right? <laughs> uh, number two though, you guys, they also broke Taylor Swift's record on YouTube for the most views in the first mm -hmm. 24 hours for a music video on YouTube. Uh, within 24 hours of the release of Idol, their music video had already amassed more than 45 yep. million views. And can you blame them? Beating, uh, beating Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do, which uh, accumulated only 43.2 million in its first 24 exactly. hours. So. Uh, sadly, they didn't keep that yeah, sad number one spot for too long. Uh, they were recently knocked off the top spot by Ariana Grande for, of course, mm -hmm. the Thank You Next video. But, uh, you know, Idol still is going to be one of those music videos from BTS we're going to be talking about for a very long time. And then another major moment for them was the collaboration with Nicki Minaj, My. their remix. Just when I thought Idol was mm -hmm. a bop, then they got Nicki Minaj on the remix and that has been on heavy rotation mm -hmm. and they even shot a video with her, a version of Idol with Nicki Minaj as well. Uh, that was in September, just a month mm -hmm. after the release of the first single. And then more huge collaborations, another yeah. big moment for them, uh, collaborating with Steve Aoki for on uh, Wasted On Me and you right. actually, you talked to them about it, correct? Exactly, it's not the first time they collab with Steve Aoki, but uh, Steve has been dying, he told me, to get back in the yeah. studio with them. The song is Wasted On Me. I actually talked to him at the Latin Grammys about when we can expect the music video with the guys. Here's what yeah. he had to say. Uh, the video, oh, the video is going to be epic. Yeah. It's going to, it's cultural. Is it? It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. How would you describe it in uh, one word? I, uh, I, um, cultural. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to give away too much. Right. You know, I, I really feel like it's, it's going to be a special video. Okay. It's the most, my most special video that I've ever been part of That's and me. put together. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. You know, I would make the argument that in 2017, they started bubbling up, right? Mm -hmm. And now everybody wants to Everyone. collab with BTS. Steve's been lucky to do it a couple times now. Uh, but you know, the year ended with their very first Grammy nomination, yeah. which is pretty major. Um, they only got one nomination, and it was in a technical category for Best Recording Package. But more than anything, this is just a major moment of inclusion and honestly appreciation for K-pop and South Korea's breakout year and their breakout artists. Explain yes. to everyone though why, you know, best recording package, like the importance of it because it's it honors, you know, the, the team collectively, right. right? It's the whole team, right? And it's uh, it's it's about bringing like this, like I mentioned, this visibility to K-pop artists. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I wish they cracked the pop categories, I really mm -hmm. do, but this nomination is shared with everyone who had a, a, a hand in their recording packaging, yeah. uh, the BTS trilogy right here you see love yourself which I mean literally has broken records all year long and so now they get uh, an invitation to the biggest night in music yeah. what do you hope is next because obviously you are a huge BTS yeah. fan um, you just visited Seoul <laughs> right. what, do you, what do you hope is next for them world in domination well, no, they've, but they've already <laughs> had that that's why I'm no. saying like what do you think is next Net, you know I know that uh, early on when I first interviewed them I asked whether or not they would do an English language okay. album but as I learned from the fans they're not looking for that. Right. So I, okay. what I'm hoping for instead is more amazing, amazing collaborations. You know, some mm -hmm. big artists. And as we know, they recently teased maybe a possible Ed Sheeran collaboration. So Ooh. if anything, maybe we have that to look forward to okay. in 2019.